<laughs> oh my god it is that time again people yeah what's going on y'all it's your boy i King carter here man we back with another nba 2k24 video this is the first official news drop of the season now i'm not sure if you guys were on twitter last night i know a lot of people was recovering from july 4th and all that but last night there was a leak but guess what we don't need to talk about that leak you know why we have the hd 1080p 4k we got two covers to review for you guys today and all i can say is there has been a lot of you know i won't say conspiracy but there's been a lot of issues between content creator and company with it which is nba 2k next makers and a lot of content creators in the community but this morning literally 10 minutes ago we got word that the cover was dropping and that they couldn't wait so guess what i couldn't wait to get this news to y'all man so look let's go ahead and hop into the cover man we're going to talk about both covers and the first cover up is King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Y'all know I had to hit y'all with the intro. I don't even know why y'all acting like y'all ain't seen this before. Every time I'm about to hit the climax when I'm at the pinnacle, I go ahead and get y'all that intro. But today, Kobe Bryant edition, NBA 2K24, Froby. That's what a lot of people will probably call it. They will probably call it the Froby edition because there is another edition cover that we'll probably cover in like the next. I'll give you guys two minutes, all right? You ain't got to wait too long. But let me uh, give you a rundown. The color scheme, not going to lie to you, giving me big Lakers vibes. I've never really been a Lakers fan. Uh, I'm a Sixers fan. And uh, 4-1, uh, Iris is stepping over to Tyron Lue. Uh, then uh, Kobe and Shaq just beating the goofy out of us for the next couple games. You know, it, it gets like that. You know what I'm saying? But the cover is definitely... It's giving me easily just artistic vibes. Now, I want to let y'all know, 2K kind of stepped away from the standardized, taking a photo image of a player, making it a little bit of HD and stuff like that. And they've actually moved over to paying artists to actually redraw, redesign, and just give us that artistic feel. Because remember, physical copies really don't come out like that no more everybody is easily going onto their consoles downloading the digital version so when a person gets a physical copy they feel it they feel a certain way about it like matter of fact i got something for y'all hold on when we talk about when we talk about like artistic styles right like look at the artistic styles and, and we're gonna go from the nba 2k21 mamba forever edition right let me let me let me show y'all this. See the see the artistic style. Like having a cover like this, this cover is going to live forever. It's going to live forever. Also, we have the Mamba Forever Edition. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and you know check this one out. 2K21. Now remember, this is when PS5 first came out, and don't forget, we also have the 2K22 version as well. You know what I'm saying this is the this is the collectible case from 2k right this is the collectible case you know what i'm saying 2k20 and then look at the art style of 2k20 this this really this wasn't this wasn't as grabbing as this edition when you saw this edition when you saw this this 10 case you was like oh man nah this is crazy so i'm not gonna lie to y'all the, this version, I don't know if it's going to come out in 10. I don't know if it's going to come out in like the last couple iterations of like how 2K has dropped because I got 2K23 on digital. I didn't get a physical copy. So I don't know if it's going to come out just like how 2K21 and 2K22 did. Now, a couple a couple small things that I do notice, of course, is that I think they should have named it the Froby um, edition instead of just Kobe Bryant edition. And of course, you also see Kobe's signature at the bottom and of course, you know, all the other logos and stuff like that. But I can't lie to y'all for thumbnail purposes. I am so happy that they put the NBA 2K24 logo smack dad in the center of this uh, actual edition because, man, I'm finna copy rip this 
throw this in Photoshop, send it to all my uh, thumbnail editors. It's, it's a whole lot going on. But let's go ahead and move over to the other edition right quick. Okay, let's talk about the Black Mamba edition. Now, if you guys notice, the art style here is somewhat similar to the Kobe Bryant edition, but it's blown up as far as the background goes. And Kobe is a centerpiece to this actual cover. I think in all honesty, I do believe that this cover is a whole lot better. You know what I'm saying? 2K is known for the sweat. So they got Kobe just literally profusely all over this cover. And it's crazy because the lighting is showing like purple sweat and stuff like that. So like, I don't know if y'all really like into like black mamas and all that type of thing, but like this, this is fire. I ain't gonna lie. And of course the, the signature of Kobe is in the same spot. I would have loved it to be like right on top of the purple of the Jersey, but that's just me. But I know how aligning and centering and stuff like that goes. And they give us another 2k24 logo concept where it is not nba but just the nba logo now um i don't know what is coming with the black mamba edition we will probably have a rollout as far as rewards and stuff like that goes remember i told you on the beginning of this video there was some type of leak or something like that we're not sure if it came from overseas or whatever the case may be but north america is now on top of this shit i'm not sure if y'all kind of like understand the way things go like when we when it comes to news season some outlets get the news before america even does and and y'all just have to understand that i know y'all probably like but wait that don't make sense you have to understand there are other places in this world that are ahead of us on a time scale now of course a couple years ago for 2k's events and when they drop they start dropping everything globally around the same time i think that news might just have to start dropping globally at the same exact time because what's happening is if china or europe or somebody you know what i mean or you know what i mean any asia outlet or any europe outlet gets the news before us because they're ahead of us we kind of like behind on the you know what i'm saying on the news and then like when things go viral on tiktok or viral on instagram or twitter or whatever crazy we'd be like sitting around like damn but I'm just I'm just in North America waiting on the news like that's 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 the biggest issue. And now I'm not saying that it's 2K's fault because 2K is just trying to roll out their shit. What I'm saying is leaks come about when that certain stuff is able to be done, because essentially it's not a leak if it's going to come out in like six to 12 hours on the next outlet. But when things might happen like a whole day before Bro, they're going to eat that thing up in like three hours. Next thing you know, we're going to be sitting there like, see, that's why I can't stay in this shit. In the mood of Asia. I've been, I've been playing on the Asia servers anyway to win these rewards and these events. I might as well just move to Asia. Because I want the news. Okay, I've held you up long enough. Go ahead and hit the like button. Drop a comment on what you guys think about the covers. And I will see y'all in the next NBA 2K24 news video. This is your boy IKC signing out. Peace. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Appa. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Appa. King Kong. King Kong.